next thing is, is Notre Dame unpopular? I don't want to set anybody off here, but Notre Dame fired their defense coordinator, Brian uh, Van Gorder, after a one and three start. Now, fired Irish head coach Brian Kelly has turned to a fresh set of eyes and hoping to fix whatever he possibly can with this defense. Uh, this defense has allowed 149 points uh, through a one and three start, the most points in a prog- the program has ever given up in its first four games. Notre Dame is now one in five in the past six games, dating back to the last season, with its only win coming in week two over Nevada this season. And the Irish have allowed 206 points in those five losses. They rank currently 103rd nationally in total defense, uh, 101st in scoring defense, 104th in yards per play, and 96th in rushing defense and 87th in passing defense. Yikes. It's, it's, it's yeah, not good. Now, but, you know, I want to throw this out there because Notre Dame shouldn't struggle. Brian Kelly is not a bad coach. He's a very good coach, a very good coach. And I don't believe he deserves to be on any hot seat. But the thing is, is Ellis is, excuse me, it is Notre Dame becoming unpopular to a lot of, you know, high school athletes or, and or, is it just too hard for student athletes to get in those top rated athletes to get into this very prestigious university and therefore, they're not going to be able to recruit the same as, say, Alabama. You can have a, the prestige up there at the at the same ranks, but you're not able to get the same players because you're at, a, I guess, a disadvantage in a way because you are not able to get the recruit that doesn't meet the academic requirements. Now, Notre Dame standards are above minimum set by the NCAA. Notre Dame has a reputation for uh, being among the most rigorous of competitive Division I schools programs, surpassed by only Stanford, which kind of hurts this argument because you see Stanford able to still recruit some top players, (coughs) Christian McCaffrey, uh, and still compete for a national championship. The university also pulls more students from academically elite private and Catholic schools, which is perhaps their biggest differentiator uh, according to Alan Triu, a, a recruiting analyst at Scout.com. Now, for instance, like we talked about, you have the powerhouse of Alabama, right? They only require one foreign, lang- cor- uh, for- foreign language course, less rigorous math, and sticks the NCAA requirement that students must hit a 2.0 around their junior year. Just a 2.0. Notre Dame, it's a a tad bit higher, just a tad bit higher. So does that, you know, obviously that affects recruiting and who you could get, but is it also starting to affect now you start seeing Notre Dame start dropping off and not winning as much in in the past two years of just what's going on with the program? Are are, are, Are student athletes starting to view Notre Dame as unpopular? Is an unpopular school to pick. I, I I don't necessarily think it's too unpopular. I mean, I, I've always liked Notre Dame. Uh, but it is definitely getting tougher and tougher for them to start recruiting. Uh, that shouldn't be a bad th- I don't think they should lower the academic uh, requirements too low. But at the same time, Gotta help yourself out if you want to be a top program. But then Stanford on the other side of the coast, they're doing a pretty good job. And they have a higher, uh, <laughs> they're surpassed by by Stanford right now. In everything. I don't wanna call.